Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Nick here with another video. And today, I'm going to be reacting to a video called The Furry Fandom Has a Poem by CookBoss88. The original video will be linked in the description down below. And make sure you go subscribe to this dude, too. Because he talks about a lot of things that has to do with the, um, with the fandom itself. And I have a feeling that this video will, will be like will be like one of the best videos that he ever made like I ain't gonna lie this one might be it for him so without further ado here we go hello my fellow degenerates cook boss idiot here and today I'm gonna say that um, the furry fandom has a very rampant problem I think you already know by the You're thumbnail right, that does. we are going to talk about zoo files, a type mm -hmm. of people that are currently mm -hmm. littering Twitter like, with yes, their very disgusting right. and not to mention illegal in most parts of the country activities. Yes. With the visual aid of yes. zoo file tweets yes. collected by at zoo file struggle tweets of Twitter. Um, a little disclaimer though, uh, the name of these zoo files will not be censored as I believe that their rights of anonymity is now null and void because of their activities. But I would also stress that um, you should never try to hunt these people down and harass them. That's not gonna solve anything and it's just gonna make both of us look bad. So strap in, get some popcorn and soda, let's get into it. But dogs have the mental capacity of a three-year-old. If you're arguing with me about whether or not my dog is able to consent, then my dog is smarter than you are. The one thing that Zufa- Okay, that one? That one right there? What dog still said? That seriously made no sense. Because you can't- People just don't understand that it is a crime. Crime. To be doing that to you to animals like like come on y'all it shouldn't be that complicated let's keep on arguing is that the that animals that the animals that they abuse are able to consent they can't and that's just the fact you can take the smartest dog in the world but it it still won't be able to, to give you a clear concise yeah, sign really that it wants to copulate with you the smartest dog in the world would still have the mind of a three to four year old child which is still kind of dodgy and wrong so why would you want to make that kind of argument i wonder why people hunt us zoophiles what does it matter to them what we like Aren't we like a waste of time to them to even bother hunting and criticizing? I would get tired of hunting zoo files. Not because I am one, but because there's no use. Well, cause you're mm -hmm. stubborn. You somehow think that sticking your sausage into a feral animal is morally acceptable. We don't get tired of telling you you're wrong because if we stop and let you keep on doing what you're doing, you will hurt an entire community's reputation. Legitimate anti furs exist because of people like you. You give the entire furry community a bad name. That's why we, we can't stop. Uh, you're asking for, toler for, you, for us to tolerate you. We can't. You're going to destroy an entire fandom because of your, your disgusting ways. Might just be me, but I've been oppressed way less for being bi. For humans as well. Uh, for being gender fluid than for being zoo. I know that it exists, and lots of LGBT folks suffer with it, but as soon as, but as a zoo, on top of that, I can guarantee that we all face pretty heavy oppression. Okay, um, let me, uh, let me get this into a bit of perspective for you. Right now, there are at least 70 countries in the world that brands homosexuality as punishable by death. If a zoo pile gets caught in a country or state where it is illegal, the harassment, uh, I'm sorry, the harsh, the harshest punishment they will receive is two to three years in jail and a $5,000 fine. Gays are being executed in multiple countries right now for being themselves, when in reality there is nothing wrong with uh, homosexuality. 
While in your case, bestiality is still illegal because you're abusing a creature that isn't able to consent to your advances. That's where the differences lie. There's nothing wrong with being gay, but there is everything that is wrong with bestiality. You know, the kind that you're advocating, that's still wrong. Retweet if your profile is a safe space for practicing zoo sexuals, not practicing zoo sexuals, zoo curious folks, asexual zoos, romantic slash non-sexual zoos. It's okay to be who you are. How many? Two, 354 retweets. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I feel like there's no saving Twitter at this point. 354 retweets. What the hell? If you choose to neuter or spay your dog, you are an animal abuser. Okay, that's not true. There are a lot of benefits to spaying and neutering your pets. A simple Google search would be more than enough to render this tweet invalid. An excerpt from the website of the ASPCA says that your female pet will live a longer No matter where I am, I shall leave. I'm supposed to be invincible in this game since I spent so much money already. So why do I keep losing? Now I know a pro gamer like you longer, healthier life. Spaying helps prevent uterine infections and breast tumors which are malignant or cancerous in about 50% of dogs and 90% of cats. Spaying your pets before her first heat offers the best protection from these diseases. Neutering your male companion prevents testicular cancer and some prostate problems. Again, a simple Google search was enough to make this person look like an idiot. So please do your do your research, right? Researching stuff like this, it's not it's not it's not that hard. Right? Google is at your dispenser. This dispenser? Disposal. <laughs> Disposal. Google is at your disposal right now. So please, read, educate yourself, and please research. To all the people who replied to my last tweet, y'all are an example of the hate that needs to be wiped off the face of this earth. Hate is toxic. Hey, uh, you know what's more toxic than hate? Putting your member in a feral animal's undercarriage. Hey Google, didn't syphilis come from animals? According to understanding animal research, we know, for example, that gonorrhea came from cattle to humans. Syphilis also came to humans from cattle or sheep many centuries ago, possibly sexually. The power of Google compels you. <laughs> Chances are, you've hung out with zoos, you've worked with zoos, you've learned from zoos, you've interacted with more zoos than you think. We're everywhere. And that's the problem. You're everywhere. You need to get and out. what is much more of a bigger problem is that you're proud of it. Is that what you see yourself doing in the next five, maybe ten years of your life? To be proud of being nad deep into a poor dog's undercarriage? Okay, I just want to say something real quick. What he said there, we're everywhere. Yeah, you're everywhere because you're a problem. You don't deserve to be in the fandom. It's still illegal. Period. Point blank. And you're proud because you, you you deceive people and or people like I don't understand what these people keep thinking. Why these people think these type of things? They they know that is not a good thing to do. We have unwittingly hung out with you without knowing what you do in your spare time because if you probably told them you probably land in jail. If you're okay with Jojo Siwa coming out LGBTQ, then you have to be okay with dog with my dog banging me. What? You have to be okay with my dog banging me? What the f- <sighs> Rocket. Rocket. Do, don't you ever, ever say something like that again. Like, never say that ever. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Oh, first of all, I did not know Jojo Siwa was a uh, part of the LGBTQ now. Yeah, I never knew she was either. Oh, good for her for coming out. Secondly, what rules are you going by? The rules I know is that if you're caught having the naughties with an animal, you'd go to jail and not get to be part of a legitimate, respectable community like the LGBTQ. Jojo Siwa 
came out because she wants to be herself, her true self, and that for me is commendable. Wanting to be praised for having a one-night stand with a neighborhood German Shepherd is not. I think a better message to send is that Furry and Zoophilia complement each other very well. Now, why? Why do people say stuff like this? Come on. They don't... Oh. <sighs> why? Just why? And many furry tropes come from zoo files. Furry, as a subculture, is intrinsically zooey. And while you can enjoy it without being a zoo, you should acknowledge its zooey roots. No, Nowhere. In the history of the furry fandom, does it say that the origins of the furry fandom came from a basement dwelling pervert that forces his dog to be his bottom for the rest of its life? The furry fandom is a collective of, of people who are enthusiasts of anthropomorphic design. You are the very reason why antifurs exist. You are the reason why the entire fandom has a bad name. Please remove yourself from the internet because you do not belong there. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much to Add Zoo File Struggle Tweets for letting me use their content for this video. If you'd like to check out their Twitter page, a link will be provided for you. And that's it, everybody. Again, Zoo Zoophilia does not belong in the furry fandom at all. Everybody should know that it's illegal to do stuff like that. Like, come on, y'all. It shouldn't be that complicated to know something like that. Like, I don't understand it. I cannot understand the mentality of these people. But other than that, I'll see you guys later in the next video. Peace.